Welcome to Captain of Industry, my name is Nilaus and we can see here that Update 2 has just been released as part of the early access release. Uh, update 2 is a major update to Captain of Industry and it adds uh, hydrogen vehicles, conveyor lifts, stackable balancers, uh, customer, custom surfaces and decals, that's roads for example, uh, loans, optional ore sorting, improved logistics and a lot of other things. So I really want to cover this, I started streaming it on uh, Twitch and I had an absolute blast with it. So I'm going to be uh, making a YouTube series as well. This YouTube series is going to address one of the bigger issues I feel that the game has and that is it is uh, it, it doesn't have a big enough community. There are not a lot, a lot of people know about it or play it so if you don't know about it Give this a chance. What I'll do in this series is try to make it as beginner friendly as possible, despite the fact that I'm going to be playing it on a higher difficulty, then uh, that'll just make it a little bit easier for you to follow along if you're playing on a lower difficulty. So uh, we are going to play this. Uh, the game itself is, so we'll give uh, explain how it works when we get in here, but uh, we're going to be choosing the default map, New Haven. Just default starting. The reason why I'm going to do this is because I played some of the other ones in the last series, but I haven't played this in a while, and I want to make a neat base, and there's some room here for making a neat base here. Uh, we are going to be playing on the highest difficulty, as I said, at the Admiral difficulty, and you can see here, this is this whole view here is a, a new overlay, and it's actually... Oh, by the way, I actually... Um, I didn't like the old UI here, because it was, uh, it was just grace gray squares and different nuances. This is still gray squares and nuances, uh, different nuances, but it looks so much better. So much better. Thank you for improving that. So here we have the tutorials. This is a great way to be guided through the beginning of the game and basically tells us what to do and gives us rewards where, uh, for, for achieving them. And then we have all the stuff that makes it more difficult. Uh, also the new thing, this ore sorting. So we have an ore sorting facility. If uh, you have trucks with multiple different things on them, then you need to, to clear those out and reduced from world mines. So that should be it and we can dive into the game. So here we are in the game and this is what the game looks like as we are diving in, getting started and uh, well let me explain sort of the concept of the game. The concept is that we are the captain of a ship and we have sort of stranded on this uh, island here and we have our crew, uh, they are sort of here in the settlement as uh, we have some workers, we have 90 people from the ship and we have a broken ship that needs to be repaired and a shipyard that needs to be repaired. We have some uh, one uh, tree harvester and some trucks that can be used. Here. These trucks are, if we are going to be making this similar to Factorio, they work both as construction drones and logistics drones, so I can't click them and control them very well. I can sort of send them over here, but that does just means that they go over there and do whatever they feel like. So we issue commands, not directly to them, but we sort of make a supply. And if there's a supply somewhere, a demand somewhere, then that generates a, uh, a transport and that will be allocated to one of these. So that works quite well. We can start here with what we need to get started on. Uh, start power production by building a diesel generator, uh, build a coal maker and a coal store stack. So we, we have this, this is a factory game but it also has elements of city building, which is interesting. Uh, we are gonna start by harvesting some trees. I'm gonna take those trees that are in the middle because they're the most in the way. We're gonna be starting here by making a coal maker. That's basically just taking wood and making it into coal. Uh, let's make it up here, that doesn't take much. There, that's also what we need to make. So it's already assigning this for us. And you can see this has inputs and outputs. Here the wood comes in, can come in in a belt if we have that. And it can then go out here. Uh, that will be as coal and as um, as uh, pollution. So we also have to manage pollution. So we get a smoke smokestack here, and those will now be built gradually. This tree has this tree harvester has harvested a tree, but it doesn't have any any uh, trees or any um, any trucks allocated to it. So we're going to set a truck here. When we look over at this building, it'll have different recipes down here that we can choose from. This only only has one that is taking wood inbound and making it into coal and exhaust pollution. Pollution is not something we need to work, worry about right now, but it will be as we move a little bit further. We also need to make diesel generators. I think we can make diesel generators. Uh, we'll make a single one down here. It's not really going to do a whole lot. Uh, and there's an inbound as well. Uh, actually, and I can, the good, really cool thing about this is that you have like cut, copy, paste, all these things are available. So X is cup, cut and uh, C is copy and yeah, that's it. And it just works so quickly. One of the things that's uh, different from this in this game in terms of other things is that when you start making a building, it'll need some construction parts and sometimes some other parts as well. Um, 
and those those things are well we just just kind of uh, need to to build that let's see uh, what do we need we research that yes that's what we want here uh, let's do that oh uh, oops let's make it there there we go. So we make a research lab. This is going to get us into the research. You can see here there are some construction parts. We have a lot of construction parts here, but we will need to start making those ourselves. Now, let's look at the tech tree. The tech tree here is pretty vast. And yeah, it's it. in terms of tech, none of this is like fantasy tech. Not really. Uh, and it doesn't start sort of from Factorio with like basic stone smelting and so on. But it uh, a lot of things are sort of current tech, but they kind of also sort of imply something else. So you kind of need to make some glass or steel before you can go into electronics and, you know, stuff like that. That's actually not even true, but the, the higher levels of electronics. Then there are some things such as um, edicts, those are sort of global commands or policies that you, you implement in your cities. And you can also further down the line, we get like the really advanced, like nuclear power, various uh, types of making nuclear power. And we have better mega vehicles. So very expensive tech tree. For the people who've already played it before, there are some new tech here and there. Uh, let's see, transport lifts is brand new and also custom surfaces is new we will get to those but not in this episode so you know stay uh, subscribe and uh, follow the series then you will keep up and uh, there is also hydrogen vehicles somewhere i don't know hydrogen cell yeah there we go hydrogen vehicles that's also new and hydrogen mega vehicles somewhere over here there we go hydrogen mega vehicles those are the new techs that are available uh, oh we did not get a tech so the build a research lab what do we want we want to get construction done uh, or do we want to get farming done? Which one was it saying? It says, oh, basic farming. Okay, let's uh, remove this and go to basic farming and then go construction afterwards. And well, we'll get tools then. We'll see which ones are being requested afterwards. Now, so now we are working on basic farming. Up here, we're being asked to make a blast furnace and connect a metal casting and a smokestack. So I'm going to just put in the overlay. There is that here and i want to build it up here but i can't really do that so let's build our very first production line and that's going to be a blast furnace for making iron where do we think we want it i don't know um i think this line here will be our okay let's let's do something this is not really doing anything this is just kind of a leveling tool but it doesn't do anything but it'll signify to me that I want that to be my road because then there's some room on this side and some room on this side. So we'll keep this as a central road for our building, go straight into our dock. Uh, we can't build roads yet, but we will. But now I just mark it for myself so that I don't accidentally build on top of it. Let's uh, also look at this layer. We can see the different resources. We have some groundwater here. We have iron here. We have coal. We have the tree somewhere. This is oil that we need to be careful not to pave over. And we have copper up here, sand, and where else? Uh, a little bit of gold here as well, and some quartz and silicon over there. Quartz or silicon? Quartz, I think. Yes. All right. So let's uh, build. Yeah, I think we'll build one of these just really small. This is a blast furnace. It takes uh, iron scrap plus coal and makes it into liquid molten. And then we get a metal caster. And we're going to give it a little bit of space. I'm going to do that one and that one. And then we can do transports. There are belts and there are four different types of belts. There's molten channel for molten metals. There's pipes for liquids. There is um, flat conveyors for solid products. And then there is uh, some other conveyors that are for gravel and that kind of thing. Pretty cool. We don't have access to all of them now, but uh, We'll, um, we'll get this. So we drag this and the belt dragging is also phenomenally nice to work with. Uh, this is not working because it is uh, missing some exhaust. So again, we need to up the pollution. There we go. So that one now has uh, pollution accessible. So it can spew out pollution and there we go. So then we need to produce some iron. What else do we have? Fertile. Okay, so we need to make some farms. Farms are, uh, they are problematic. Let's see how close we can make it to this part here. 
let's make it here and there. So they are pretty big and they can only be made on fertile ground. Fertile ground being uh, the green stuff. They can't be built on stones or mines or stuff like that. So we uh, completed our first iron production quest and we get some rewards, some diesel and some construction parts. Diesel, of course, being used for our trucks. Trucks say are uh, using the diesel. So that's uh, something here. We're going to make this and then now they're asking us to make an assembler. Um, is this being worked on? Yeah, it's being worked on. That's fine. And let's see, an assembler is pretty obvious, something to use for assembling. So let me try to figure out, this is a road, and then, no, actually, this is not going to be the road. Oh, no. Uh, I think this is going to be the road, though. Ah, well. Well, I already messed, messed it up, didn't I? I think I did, yes. But um, here, one, two is for a potential bus, and then for storage, and then here so that one is gonna be where we build our first assembler yes let's build an assembler here and now we have three different recipes and it's probably gonna ask us to make construction parts it would also be nice to have another one that makes mechanical parts because we're gonna need those as well and that'll be up here oh that's cool and i want to make it i'm using this grid I'll just copy this grid here as sort of baselining for how close I want things so I don't get too close, but also don't get too far away. We'll try to see if that works well. Now we need to get some potatoes. Uh, this will only grow when there's water around, so we're going to have to wait for rain. That's how it is. Either there's too much rain or not enough rain, but that's just how it goes. Um, and we got our next research. No research available. Then let's uh, research the trading dock and vehicles. And then my least favorite thing in the game, but is an essential part, maintenance. Good, so produce construction parts. We're already in the process of construction, constructing construction parts. Basically here, at this level, everything has to be brought in by truck and everything is brought out by truck. You can see there's some storage in here and they also have an internal buffer. 37, 14, and 32 here. And then once this one completes, we'll have all the construction parts there. And we got another update. And uh, there we go. Okay, we're just cranking away at this. Uh, as we also got the food production, we get some free potatoes. So let's look at how food works. So food is gonna go in here into the food market. So it's gonna be brought from uh, the farms also by truck you can see here there's there we go 20 trucks and they go in here to this location make it into food market and uh, then our little village here this village we'd actually like to make it a little bit bigger uh, but let's do down here this will be a good place to dump materials into the ocean because uh, they will be generating some waste in this city so there we go this one we're being asked to do a waste collection so we set up a waste collection and we set up a dumping zone for just dumping into the ocean that's how we build bigger islands this thing here is basically all of our starting resources we get some bricks some iron scraps to get started on the on getting the game while we are producing things so this is kind of how it, it works uh, this game is instead of sort of you only have access to a few things in the beginning then they give us access to a lot of things here that we can then use, but then means before we run out of diesel, we have to have built new diesel. Before we run out of copper, we have to establish copper, but copper is a little bit out in the future. Same with uh, rubber is in the future as well. And bricks are not even available here either. So we'll just collect that. And now we uh, need to get up to maintenance. Did we, we haven't reached research maintenance yet. Research maintenance, uh, build another assembler to produce mechanical parts. That's already what we have up here. We have built one here, the one's for mechanical parts. Actually, I don't want you anymore. Um, we're going to do that, and you're going to do that. There, and then I'm going to deselect this and use there. So get that out. So one is making mechanical parts, and the other one here is making construction parts. That seems good. So we got the one for mechanical parts. We need to make produce maintenance, but that's after we research. Let's uh, undo that research and do maintenance as we're being asked. There we go. Build a trading dock, yes. So let's build a trading dock. Trading dock allows us to trade with other locations around the map. And uh, when we get the ship up and running, we will have that as, oh, this might not be a great place to build it because I kind of, I kind of prevented this from actually working. I don't think I can even get here. Huh, 
I don't think there is room. Uh, so what we can do here is we can select one of these trucks and then I can show navigation overlay. This is uh, heavy on, uh, on the updates. You can see there's a problem here. They can't get into this location at all because everything is in the way. So I'm gonna take and move this away and just move it over to that location instead. And I can now use, and here comes some a little bit of a side. Unity is an amazing feature of this game. Unity allows you to quick deliver things. Boop. Then I use some of the Unity. How do we get Unity? Well, you get Unity by generally by making sure your population is happy. So if they have food, plus 1.2. If they uh, have waste collection, maybe that will also give something. I don't know. Uh, or it'll just give me negative if they don't have it. If they get water, then they get some better. If they get housing, uh, all sorts of amenities, that gives us more unity. And unity is generally used for a few things. One of them uh, being just building things instantly. Like here, for example, quick remove, instead of waiting for the trucks to come in, then we can do that. So I'm gonna be building you down here. And that should also allow this to get built. Now we got the maintenance researched. And, oh, build a unit storage for wood. That is super important. Let's uh, build a random unit storage. Uh, this one is, yeah, and unit storage for wood. I'm gonna build it so that it automatically connects directly in here. And because that means all the wood that gets uh, harvested gets in here, and then it automatically goes in and becomes uh, additional coal make, uh, additional coal. So we want to make sure we have coal because coal is currently needed for this part. So molten iron goes out and it gets in here, becomes uh, becomes metal, and then we can we can work with that. So wood storage needs to go in here. That's probably going to be a little bit of time before that happens. But now we can start working on the next thing. I really want the this part to be taken out. Oh yeah, okay, they were not even flagged. Um, okay, so let's take this as an uh, it's really important to try to figure out what trees are the most in the way at any given time. <laughs> and uh, then we have our tree will, we can't really decide where it goes, but we can kind of only mark a few and then it'll go there. Now, a maintenance. Let's talk a little bit about maintenance. It's one of my best and least favorite, I think it's necessary. So basically it means that if you look at the truck, it always consumes a little bit of maintenance. Every 60 seconds, it consumes 2.5 maintenance. So that means we need to make sure that we have maintenance being built. And maintenance is just sort of accumulating over here. Uh, it Every building uses maintenance. Every vehicle uses maintenance. Uh, everything uses maintenance. And that means that we have to have a constant production to go. So everything uses diesel or trucks use diesel. Uh, everything uses maintenance. So it's just it can be really strained on our resources to make sure that we don't sort of get in, in trouble. And if you run out of maintenance, the vehicle stop. And if you run out of maintenance and the vehicle stop, then you are just basically dead because it's really, really difficult to recover. And that's uh, that's one of the hardest parts about this game is the, the difficulty of recovering once a bad thing happens. So that's, uh, that's something we have to definitely keep in mind. Right, vehicles and mining, we got that. And then we can go to that one. And let's also get this storage and beacon, yes. And maybe diesel as well, there. We'll probably get some other ones. So now we can see we're making maintenance and we get some electronics and some construction parts. I actually want to make another one here and that one will be dedicated to making electronics. There, because maintenance needs gears and electronics and then it makes a lot of maintenance and that gets stored sort of internally here and uh, that means we need to build it but this is difficult because it uses copper and rubber and i have none of those uh, being uh, constructed at all all right we got our tree harvester is complaining that there's nothing to harvest so let's move on with this and take the next most annoying thing but we're starting to see a little line of buildings up here they're not close by you'd probably have a benefit of building everything a little bit closer here but that's a uh, that's just where it is or how it is right now we can see we're building up slowly our reserve for maintenance and you definitely want it to always be hovering around 100 percent so at this point now we actually want to get some wood going here so that um and that's going to be a little bit tricky but we uh, we need to get the wood going uh, so that we can complete the next quest 
We managed to get our unit storage for wood up and running and I also built a vehicle depot so I think I actually want to make another one of these and this gets us another vehicle and or another tree harvester and plus two of these and the reason why I do that is because uh, on this difficulty I'm playing one a, I want to really abuse the fact that wood is an abundant resource because I also want to clear this out so I can have some room uh, you know they are the enemies and I also wanted to use it or abuse it uh, to trade with vehicles and use wood for trading. This is the world map and uh, you can see the locations we can sail to when we actually get the ship running. We do not have that, but uh, here we can now trade. It costs some units to do trading, but 20 wood for 20 bricks. Yes, please. We can also do it for concrete and we, if we had more, we could also do it here over for iron scrap. And then the trees are complaining or they're complaining that they don't have that. So let's go up to that location and also this location and just kind of clean out the trees here and there. We got the trading completed and that means we now know how that works. We also got uh, brick production is something we can uh, start working on. Uh, let me look at the research because, oh yeah, this brick production. This also gives us rainwater harvester, which is absolutely amazing. And that's something I really want to have. Uh, let's see, because rainwater is, uh, in the higher difficulty, rainwater is not super abundant, so I want to make sure that I I have whatever I uh, or I get some extra by having rainwater collector. The rainwater collectors are also less efficient on higher difficulty, but they're still, I mean, they work, and uh, they're free. Bas they're, they're basically free. Like they cost some construction parts and some wood, and then we get some. Uh, uh, some available storage okay we can't even store yet but let's get this tree oh tree harvester has no tree design ah right okay we're just gonna put one of these here and uh, you can see the way it works is that once they start being low on uh, diesel the harvesters have to go all the way back here because this is the only place we have diesel so once we have diesel we can actually have fuel trucks going back and forth and that's just gonna be a lot uh, nicer and neat for for us all right, rain is great. We need to fill up our uh, rainwater container. This one would be nice if that one was getting uh, getting built now, but uh, not just yet. So let's see, construct a small excavator, construct a new pickup. We already have some pickups and build a mine control tower, mine con or mine control tower near the iron deposit and assign small excavator and pickup trucks to set up mining operations. So that is going to be the next one. Enable iron recipe in the blast furnace and population growth. Ooh, research the beacon. Okay, so those are the next missions we have to, to deal with here. Ah, just as the rain stopped, we uh, we get this one sorted. Oh, well. And let's see. You can also see here, this is uh, the trash from the village that we have uh, thrown in the water, which helps us build a bigger city. We need to build over here. This is kind of the most important part of... Uh, so maybe if I do this and this first then i'll get that corner because i want to extend our our city a little bit more okay i also think i want one more of uh, of these production here we go we have now built the pickup trucks and i think i can assign them okay let's see we need to do start working on the mining because mining is uh difficult crazy weird strange there we go that's gonna be here and this is basically telling you can assign some excavators to this area, this yellow area. And then you select the yellow area and just go, okay, you want to mine, let's say this area. Now it doesn't mine anything yet, and we don't have anything to assign to it yet. Uh, we need to assign some small excavators to do the digging and some assigned trucks to go from the digging and to wherever it, it is needed. And then we go to the M tool. This is the uh, mining tool. And I just sort of in here, just try to say, basically, I want to level this terrain down to the ground. Now, the first thing that happens is that it's going to be digging a lot of dirt, which is great because that will be poured straight into the water, into the ocean where, where we want to get it. Um, but later on, it'll also be doing something else. So let's see, we need to go down here and build an excavator and then also do that. Let's quick build this so that it gets done faster. Uh, we're researching beacon now, uh, iron recipe, and the, all of that is good. So, let's see. This one is kind of running out. And also something we have to do like regularly. I press F3 to go up to here to the offers. This one is, is down here. If I click this multiple times, 
you can see the recipe now goes up to 25 for the same so you don't want to be over using this i'm going to be getting some more iron as well and i'm going to get something more here so we just want to trade all of our wood away pretty much because we can get new wood pretty damn easy and uh, so let's also start working on this part just kind of clearing this area that one's also annoying so let's get that and in the meantime we have our maintenance is working we have we have to be mindful that the more we build the more construction parts we use and we are not well we are producing construction parts but we, they are using bricks and bricks is a finite resource because we only have 420 here and then whatever we uh, we trade for at that point uh, this is our iron build. It's not great, uh, but it is what we have. Uh, that's actually... Okay, we're actually progressing pretty quickly with this. So that's very nice. Right, up here, I'm going to be build, assigning our new truck. And then I'm going to assign two vehicles to it. Then we're going to be mining some iron ore. It doesn't happen just yet, this iron ore. Because um, we're going to be digging out a lot of the... the well, the side here of that. But uh, that's fine, because we'll just dump that right now. I will, however, uh, do I want to do that? No, I don't. Let's see. I really want to get one of these trucks here, go up to that location. So that it hopefully takes these out because I think that's needed for the next part. And take all that one. That's not necessary to get out right now. I can get more of this and then, oh, I didn't get the liquid storage. Huh, where's the liquid storage going? Oh, that's over here. Okay, so we have that. Liquid storage is what we need as well, because they, these can't contain a lot of liquids. But if we just put it into a liquid storage, it gets easier. It'll take some time before they start mining the iron. So in the meantime, we uh, have researched uh, beacons. And uh, let's talk about what the beacon is. The beacon is basically for attracting more people to our glorious little, uh, little colony here. And we're just going to cram it out there and just speed build it. So what that does is edit just over every six months or so it'll attract some people and they'll bring some stuff along which is really nice uh 14 refugees in less than three months great and we can get up to 140 so when they come in that should be good and um, then we have a beacon and then we need to build another house here and uh, you can say that do we want to build it now because oh yeah we do because we only have two workers left and uh, this one probably Oh, it's already taken one guy up here in the lighthouse. That seems like such a great place to be, like just uh, having a lighthouse. I'd like, love to build a live in a lighthouse. Oh, look at that. Also, something we need is trade, 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 trade. There you go. Just use all of our wood to uh, to trade away. And uh, then we get this. That gets us our housing. So we can now get more people. Remember, more people will also eat more. Currently, we can see up here, we have for 83 months, they are just living off potatoes. That's fine, but there's not particularly varied. And then we also have now the opportunity to make a liquid storage. And now I do realize that there isn't a hell of a lot of uh, automation going on that or sort of a supply chain build here yet, but it gets better like this. We're starting making pipes and stuff, but belts are coming a little bit later because belts are powered, so they do need to take some uh, they do need to take some time to actually get going. So this one needs to be built, and we have a lot of unity. So if I have unity enough for, or if I have construction parts enough, then I'll just smash it down. I did not. Uh, we got a few of these pipes built, but uh, we did not get uh, this one. And uh, we might actually be to in a point where I want to make a second one of this, and I'll make it here. So let's be a three difference because that means if I build another one here, then they'll be equidistant. And I like that. We'll prioritize this. Priority, you should be a little bit careful because they will be, you can see here, they don't uh, go with full loads. Uh, actually, here's another thing for a little bit of an advanced tip. Allow partially loaded trucks. No, I do not want to allow partially loaded trucks. I want to wait for them to be full um, because otherwise we have too many trucks going back and forth. Oh, look at that. New refugees. Uh, and they bring in some copper, rubber, iron scraps, and diesel. Hooray! Absolutely brilliant. That's also a great way for getting a little bit more of the resources we need. How are we doing over here? We have not, still not mined any iron at all. If we look at this location, they're still sort of digging their way in through the dirt. And this is also why, if you look at the dirt here, that we are now seeing a lot of dirt being dumped, dumped into the ocean. We're also trying to get this so we can also go the other way around if we need so. Great, and copper refinement is now done. Now we just need this to be done. This takes a while because, well, 
that one and that one so uh, this is what often happens is that you end up being a little bit stuck in uh, waiting for often construction parts that's really what you're waiting for very often uh, let's also make a no i kind of want to make one just for iron but i might want to just get that somewhere else there it's just nice to be able to have some iron stored up and also since that we need to activate the iron and once that happens we actually need to get it going here there we go we built a house it's completed this house there's a growth we get some free potatoes can we store them yeah fine free potatoes great and now the next one is oil we still don't have the <laughs> the iron ore mining and what i've done in the meantime is try to sort of limit it so that it will actually start digging into the mountain instead of just flattening the ground we do need to spend time on flattening the ground but uh, they need to go here and also another thing we can set this up to be prioritizing iron so that if it looks around what it can do if it has iron then it will try to get that but uh, you can see now that it's slowly digging its way into the mountain it'll take a little bit of time and then we'll get the iron ore mined here's a, another little trick here you can also use unity for just boosting you can see this is the normal speed six per minute and this is the boosted speed so it is twice as fast when boosted but you use 25 or 0.25 uh, unity per month so that's that's kind of the the trade-off here now we need to see here there's some oil at this point great and we got another research rubber synthetic rubber and here we are now getting more refugees. We have 55 excess workers. As nice as it is that they bring stuff in, I think it's time for us to pause this because they do need more. Uh, they they do need more uh, food. So uh, they, if I don't need them, don't need them, and then we can request them when we need them. Although the oil refinery is uh, pretty neat. So let's show another feature called planning mode. Planning mode means that we can now build stuff without it actually getting built. And uh, that's uh, kind of nice. So, for example, we can do uh, oil refineries here. Uh, let's flip those. You can flip things with F, which is, again, really nice. One. That's the closest you can make it. And go one out. And then there. Okay. And then I'm going to be putting this into an oil refinery at this location, I think. You can also just bump it up against this. And nope. And I cut it and then move it one down. Because then we can do this. There. The reason why these are these are producing 18, 3 times 18 is 54. And then we need coal inbound as well. We also have some nasty stuff here. Uh, some pollution. Look at that. We can also just copy the whole thing. And build it there. So they will have some polluted water here then i'll just bring pressing the e button you can see here this is that ground level then press e that goes like one up and two up so i'm going to be building it like this and then go in here because if you build it two tiles up why can i build it inside that that seems really weird why can i build it here that shouldn't be possible that's inside the other build uh, inside the farm oh that's incorrect and we drag it all the way here because this is wastewater is again like all other things in this game it seems just being thrown into uh, into the ground here there we go I'm just gonna get it to that location and then we have a liquid dump there that's as far out as I can make it and I can go copy here that connects I hope that they can come underneath here let's see if they can uh, I'm just going to hit navigation overlay. They cannot. Typical. Uh, let's just hope they don't have to go in there then. Okay. And the other thing we need now is a smokestack for more pollution. So oil oil production is, surprise, surprise, rather polluting. And then we need to put it into a storage, which would be amazing if we had that. And it's going to be here. And I think we'll actually get two of those just to make sure. And there. So now that we have built all of this looks good we can sort of say that that seems about right then we can start enabling it uh, we can either enable it by just hitting the p button which is like pause and then just unpause the build or we can do it in a little bit different pickup it has no compatible sorting for mixed cargo perfect that's exactly what we want 
Uh, actually, this is not going to be built right now, but this thing is great. We got the first little mix here and that doesn't work because now we need to do the new, the ore sorting plant. I'm going to make an ore sorting plant right over here by the iron build because uh, we are going to be sorting the iron coming out here. This is the new building and uh, if you are familiar with the game, then this is new. So pay attention. We can select what kind of products to be filtered. Iron and uh, rock and dirt. So any of those things come in, then they will go out in, in location one, A, B and C. I will also smash it over to on so that it always picks up. Then I am going to, uh, let's see, See, normally I would, or later on, I would be making this with belts, but I don't have belts yet, so I have to get this loose storage con uh, exactly built here. So I'm going to build that one, and then I'm going to change these around. Uh, this means I will be, you'll be in D, and you'll be in A, there. Let's see. Uh, transport do I no I don't see that and let's see this one is going to be the iron ore and this one was going to be the dirt because we need to store the dirt and then we can't really get the uh, the rocks out but we don't have a lot of rocks but this thing oh we're still in planning mode so this is important to get built hundred of that and another here and here but this is the one that has to be built first uh, otherwise, we can't mine it. We don't mine six of them, but that's about it. So let's uh, get this going. And we're going to wait with oil for a little bit more. And the ore sorting facility is coming online. There we go. And uh, we can see it working. So now they will be mining from here and then dumping it into this location. And then they will go out into... Uh, there will be some input here, which is 360, so a pretty good internal buffer, but also pretty big external buffers as well. And uh, then we can set up notification here for if the rocks fill up and we don't do anything about it, then give us a warning. Here, if they give us a warning as well, but not give us a warning if it's full of iron, because we actually want it to be filled with iron and just leave it, leave it here. Uh, this one needs to also get going, and there, I'll just rush it. That gets us the iron immediately out there we go so uh, now we have you can see here this comes in it's going to be predominantly the dirt and did it get in really oh yeah of course because it just goes out here then i can take this and basically say you know what i always want to 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 empty it if it goes more than half full then just make sure we empty it but I do want to also get a brick production facility up and running and brick needs dirt. So, you know, that might be a good idea to get that. Let's get a brick works here. And mm, I don't know where to build it. Maybe. Can I build it here? Sure. Can I build two? Yes. There. Okay. We got the iron ore. Perfect. And then we need to enable an iron ore in here let's have a look at how much iron scrap we actually have uh, if we just click here we can see all the resources the ones we would click a pin is the ones that get displayed out here so for example iron scrap we have 20 of those uh, so it's kind of running out here so let me enable that and then process iron ore we want to process scraps before we process iron ore and this is really far away so from what we already have so maybe it's time for us to do another proper build of iron but oh, hold on we're doing uh, we're doing this part first let's do this first here and one two here yeah yeah so that's going in here and you will be making coal and dirt and get that, that one and Good. So this is, let's also make some a storage somewhere around here. Let's just make it, let's make it here. This will be for bricks, because we will have a brick production, so they can be built out here. Great, dump slag. Uh, slag comes from here. You can see if we just recycle the scrap, there's no byproduct, but if we take iron ore, then we also get slag as byproduct, and that slag needs to be dealt with. 
and uh, that's um, important. <laughs> so someone will have to come in here and pick up this, pick up the slag, literally pick up the slag, except different spelling, um, and get it out there. So let's see. Let's take a stock of the situation. What is that? We have ninety-two of that. So I think, oh, we get extra processing iron ore. Great. So now the oil distillery is important and the bricks production here and connect your rainwater harvester using a pipe. That's exactly what we do. Uh, I will be enabling all of this and that's going to be an expensive build and then we'll do oil afterwards. Unit storage for construction parts is also a great idea. Let's do that and let's see if I can figure this one out. One, two, there. I'm building this because that's where it's going to have to be afterwards. Uh, let's see. Is that even correct? Maybe. Let's do that. And that will be set to construction storage. I will also unpause it. You can decide whether it's best for you to build in planning mode or in not planning mode. It depends on the, your personal preference, of course. And this is getting built. Maybe I shouldn't have built both of them at the same time. But we're going to start to use a lot more of the workers. We are also going to be focusing more on cons on research. We're just going to get this. Ooh, blueprints. Yay. Really like blueprints. Conveyor belts we can get. We're not going to get into conveyor belts now or this episode. But we will be uh, preparing things. Concrete production. Yes. And even up here for transport belts and transport lifts. So that's definitely uh, cool things on the agenda. Should have probably built that a little bit before. And now we're seeing our construction here. Construction of uh, our unit storage for construction parts is being done. There we go. That got completed. And then we have here, uh, we need to store 20 construction parts. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. We also got our bricks production up and running, which we give us some free bricks. And then we get that one. And then it wants us to do copper production, which is something I always uh, wait until too late to get started. But let's try not to wait until it's too late in this kind of this case here. I think we got enough here and these once it is one has 20 there we go then it'll be brought in here and there we go we got that one completed great now what do we do need to do now let's uh, let's take stock of our situation we have a nice little uh, factory or nice little colony here I think this colony is the right thing we need to build oil we need to uh, tap this coal mine so we have better coal production instead of just using wood for coal uh, we need to build copper we need to uh, repair the shipyard and also repair the ship and set that out so there's a lot of things that we need to do as we progress and uh, we'll also most importantly actually start working on belts and uh, because belts will be really what uh, what gets the whole damn thing going and gets it automated because uh, right now we're using a lot of trucks a lot of trucks means more maintenance it means more uh, diesel as well and that just puts a strain so we want to get things transitioned to be more belted and also build more iron here so I hope you have enjoyed this very first episode uh, I'll be continuing to do this I hope this was uh, good enough in terms of sort of uh, getting you ready or getting you sort of uh, familiarized with it if you're not familiar with it you're also very welcome to come by on my Twitch stream. I stream on Twitch TV slash Nilaos at 8 p.m. Central European time. And uh, I'll be picking this up uh, next week. And well, depending on when you watch this video, of course. And um, you can always ask, ask questions in uh, in the stream if there are something specific you want to add a further explanation of. Uh, thank you very much. And also, of course, if you're a patron supporter, you can always get access to these safe games so you can download them and play the game and take whatever blueprints and designs you find in my base that you want to have. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.